Shelby, a cockapoo puppy who's like Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> Though it's Adrian who's bearing the brunt. When I go near Amy, 90% of the time, Shelby will growl at me. He will try and leap out of Amy's arms. He will try and nip me, bite me. And this pooch really likes to sink his teeth in. Basically, he just doesn't want me around. I'll show you. I don't want you to get bitten, but I do want to see how he reacts to you. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, you got me a leg that time. Oh, he did. For a cute little ball of fluff, that was really intense. Now he's just got the angry eyes with me. I didn't expect that hard a reaction. So that is surprising from a pup so young. But he yeah, means he, business. He means business, yeah. He's not messing around. No. no. It's your approach that as soon as he sees you, he freezes. And if you continue approaching, then he launches. And now we have to show you're no threat. You're going to watch how I do this, OK? Yeah, OK. okay. Going to come into the room. <gasps> hey, Shelby. Drop some chicken and go out. Good. When he comes to you, tell him good boy. If you can call him and get him back on the sofa. Shelby. Good boy, yes. Now we're going to do that again. So I'll go out. This time I'm going to come a little bit closer. OK. And I'm going to retreat. If you get him back up. And the last thing you're going to do... <gasps> here, go get that. Good. And while Shelby plays with the toy, Adrian finally gets his spot on the sofa. And the reason he's got an activity that he can do, that you gave him to do, right. it's not a distraction. It's actually saying your entrance is a positive thing. Yeah. So we're cutting out that emotion of... Right. Yeah. We're literally just changing the picture. Complete. 180. But now comes the tough part. Do you think you can do this? Um, I'll give it a go, but he, we've seen the way he is with me and um, I'm not holding my breath. That's it. Nice and purposeful. Hi, Shelby. Drop the forward and out. Good. Ooh. Well done. That was beautiful. Now we're going to do it again. Come in a little bit closer this time. Hi, Shelby. OK, good. Drop. Oh, boy. Nice. Now comes the all-important third approach. All right, this time you're going to throw the toy a little bit towards me. Yep. Good. Shelby, here we go. Okay, go sit next to Amy. Good boy, good boy, Shelby. Much to everyone's relief, Shelby's feeling the love. Look at snuggles again. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely feel there's light at the end of the tunnel. It'd be great with, for Shelby mm. to have a relationship with other people in the house other than just me. The trust that me and Shelby have lost, we will be able to rebuild it and we will become good friends again. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.